earlier today, I found myself in Mayfair, which is an exclusive part of London, where privileged people with a tendency to indulge seem to hang out. The sort of people that like to buy yachts. The sort of people that get off on purchasing expensive pieces of art. The sort of people that love to stay in lavish hotels. The sort of people that enjoy dining in fancy restaurants. Today I'm meeting a friend for lunch at Scott's, which is a seafood restaurant. In my opinion, one of the best seafood restaurants in London. It's not the sort of place that you take out a camera and start filming. So we are going to be discreet and concentrate on the food. To start, I went for the Devon smoked eel with horseradish, bacon croquettes and green apple remoulade. I did try to convince Alan to go for the saute monkfish cheeks and snails with bacon and bordelais sauce. Instead, he went for the dressed crab, which anyway looked delicious. The meatiness of my smoked eel was perfectly balanced by the wheaty crunchiness of the croquettes, with a hint of sweetness coming from the remoulade. For my main, I got the Dover sole Meunier, whereas Alan went for fish of the day, which was a fillet of halibut with some cabbage. I also got some spinach and new potatoes with my Dover sole. Alan really seemed to enjoy his halibut. And we both agreed that the mains were excellent. We also got half a bottle of Chablis to wash it all down. And then I convinced Alan to get a dessert. He went for the Bakewell pudding. I went for the Bramley and Cox apple pie. He also got some almond praline ice cream with his Bakewell pudding. And I got some fresh cream with my apple pie. I can confirm that it was probably the best apple pie that I'd had in a long time. The bill came to 278, which we thought was reasonable. The service had been excellent. The food was delicious. If you do want to win lunch with me, enter the competition. All you need to do is like, subscribe, ring the bell, tell me where you'd like to go. I'll pick a winner and I'll see you for lunch soon.